welcome back to a Leech No SMP Season 10. I've moved a little bit of the base around here. So now the enchanting is going to go over here. And we have what we need to make the enchanted table here. So how about we do that? Piece of leather. There's a book. A bit of obsidian. And some diamonds. One enchanting table. Now we don't have enough leather to make all of the books needed. To make all the bookcases needed to fill that whole area up. But for now, we're just going with putting that in. And we're going to be doing some redstone today, which is always a disaster. But this one, more so than usual. I needed to add this area back this way in order to make space for all the things we're going to be doing. If we tunnel straight through here, we find the barracks. It ends here, so I can't use these blocks. I don't know if that's actually going to be enough space <laughs> looking at it. Max is out at here. Uh, we, we can do it. We can do it. It's fine. I'm making a, a secret tunnel from here over to the nether portal. We get my coordinates up here. I can mine straight to where I'm going. Instead of having to use any of our doors, we can just go this way and be right where we want to be. It's going to be super convenient. Except the amount of time we're going to be spending putting in all the redstone is actually going to probably take longer than the path is ever going to save us. But that's okay. Right through here. In a very simple L shape. We can hear the zombie pigment. And we are going to have to do a little bit of terraforming on this side. Just because it's not going to be tall enough. As you can see, it kind of goes through the floor here. Well, that is going to be a problem for later. There is almost definitely I mean there absolutely de there absolutely definitely is a better way to do what we're about to do here. But I am just going to do it myself. A bit of interest here. Also, this needs to not be a thing. How would you like to get filled with blocks here? Okay. So what we're going to be doing here is a almost flush piston door. I mean, with this setup, we could just push it from there. That'd be easier. I wanted to show my... Honestly, we'd probably be better off just making this as easy as possible. And that would actually be perfectly flush, too. So, yeah, we should probably just do that. But Ken, will we have the opportunity on this side? I mean, if we build the area the same it will be. It needs to be on a corner. We can have it on a corner here. Yeah. 
If it's on a corner, everything's going to be trivial. This, this is actually... Well, once we're done, I'm going to have to show you the disaster that I created. But we're just going to need some sticky pistons. Some slime balls. And some iron. Cobblestone. And wood. With this easier design we're going to have here, we really only need like... Four. Three anymore. Piston. There we go. And then stick pistons. Okay. Are we still going to want to use buttons though? I kind of really do want to use buttons. We use buttons. We have the technology. Make this at least slightly interesting. So we have a button. We can put a lot of these tools away. Oh, I need that later. And we don't need the other supplies here. Dirt. Still going to need to do a little bit of terraforming, but that's fine. And we're going to need some repeaters and torches. Maybe. I mean, depending on how easy this setup's going to be, we might actually not need many of those. Um, it's going to be sticky pistons, so yeah. Let's make a few torches here. And a few repeaters. And then a few more torches. Something like that. Alright. So the basic idea here is going to be stone block, sticky piston, then a button that opens it. But since it's a button, I'm going to want it to function not exactly like a button. I want it to stay open for a little bit so you can get past. So we're going to involve some wacky nonsense. Peter here. And you're a zombie. It's probably fine. We we'll start off with some repeaters. We can get the signal away from the sticky pistons. Which before anything starts, we want to be Extended, holding the stone in place. So we need to accomplish that. Basically, be. I really want to use stone for that. Stone for that. Usually, just all. We should just all the different blocks. That'd be fine. We want a repeater here. Yeah, this is still going to be larger than it needs to be. That's okay. Then we got some redstone. Get that down a level here. And we need an inverter. Now it is blocking where it needs to be. Perfect. Now, 
off of where we got this redstone. Get some gravel in the way. This can make us give us a bunch of extra space here. It's fine. I will take it. It's going to be a mess back here, and that's okay. I guess for this one part, I do need regular pistons. For the mess that I'm making, at least. Bit of iron, a little cobstone, a bit of redstone. Pistons. Four regular pistons. Because back over here, we're going to be taking this. And making a thing. Thank you, Gravel. Very convenient large area you're making. I'm also going to want the button on the other side to come back and be able to reconnect to this, so. Oh, good. Giving ourselves more space here is beneficial. have a regular piston a redstone block and that will push this activating other redstone it is a mess back here and that's okay and then, when it's done, it loops back around, activating another piston to push the redstone block out of the way. So from here, when we press the button, Nothing happens. Activated the repeater there. The repeater's not going down to the redstone. We want to not cross the streams here. So that's no good. So we need one piece of redstone on the same level here. Alright, now pressing this. This repeater is the wrong way. That would also do it. And this repeater is also the wrong way. So now this is connected here. Nope. So we can take this redstone. Activate the pistons, retracting them. And then after it does that, we need to wait a little bit. And then have the pistons extend again. Turn off the redstone and then it will automatically turn itself off. Yeah. 
This was more complicated when there was many more sticky pistons. So, goes over here, turns it on. And then just loops itself. Back this way. Where we need more repeaters. Yes. The repeaters were necessary. Well, these ones up here were kind of eh, but yeah, the repeaters are more necessary for making time pass here. So, repeaters. Gonna need more of you. Back in here. Repeater, 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 repeater. Repeater. It needs to go straight into the piston. Of course it does. Run. No. And since these are not sticky, they just stay the right way. Head back over this way. We're outside. It opens, and then it closes. delay. So if you press the button too many times, things could get weird. Don't know if there is a possibility of deadlocking the system here. Press the button, nothing happened. It just stays in here for a little bit. Because it goes back around again. Let's see exactly what happens here. And face of this, everything's powered. Everything's powered, everything's powered. Turns off. Yeah, it's still powering itself, so it goes back around here again before the piston re goes back. So we could change the timing on this. Walk through. Yeah, there's an extra bit there at the end. But. Yeah, if you press the button again while it's still getting through the system, nothing happens since this piston is still extended. And you can't push an extended piston like that. Or something. <laughs> so now what we need is the button on the other side. And so for that, we need actual walls here, of course. I tell you, these want to be stone blocks here too. Let's add some walls and floors here, shall we? ceilings. Of course we're going to be ripping all this up momentarily, but that's fine. We kind of want a button over here. And what we need to do now is get this signal over to this. You can do that by taking the signal down and around. Helps around the walls, it's fine. Quite like that. 
just be another down in order to get underneath everything here. And then repop up back over at the other side. Comes over under this way. There's some coal down here. That's fun. Okay, if we come out over here, it'll be perfect. Let me just take this coal. Can always have more coal. Especially with these weird holes that we're building. That all need lights. Okay. So, down in here. Redstone, redstone. Redstone, redstone, redstone. redstone. We might need a repeater in here. Just because of the length of the signal. Redstone, redstone. And that connects over to here. And should. The word should. Just kind of work. Let's walk through here. And then it closes again. Perfect. So if we seal all this up, make sure it's all lit nice and well down here. We have this hole that doesn't even do anything. It's just a hole. That area where we mine some coal. Got this. Yeah, this is definitely more area than is necessary for all this. But it's okay. It's all covered up. No one needs to see it. We just press a button. We hear a bunch of pistons happening. And then later there's another piston. And we're too quick on that button. So it doesn't open. It's a, it's, a, it's a system. Is it a good system? Probably not. It works though. As long as you wait for the final piston. It only takes two little bits to open. It's not like you're waiting around for a long time. So now, we just need one of these down here at the other end. It was going to be slightly more difficult due to the whole it's not at the same level kind of system we got going on over here. So what I need to do here. is extend out, I mean, the total space taken here is only like, vertically, I really only need the two blocks and then, I really only need two blocks tall for any of this. The rest of it is more underground, so that's fine. I think we can do this. We're gonna need a few blocks though. Let's put away all this gravel. We're not gonna need that. Dirt. We got our silk touch shovel. That'll be good. We got the pistons we need. Probably gonna need more repeaters again. Just to make things easier on ourselves. Get some more sticks. To make more redstone torches. To make more repeaters. And then more redstone torches. Very good. It's also almost night. Probably wait until that. So it's not. Nighttime while we're trying to do stuff out outside. 
Any other blocks we're gonna need? We got the grass, got the dirt. I'll be fine. Repeaters, two buttons, two of each piston. Looking good. Feel free to come out, come up with a much better system to do the same thing. And I'm sure it's already been done. But it's functional. And trying things out is half the fun here. So now that we know that this system works, we should be able to implement it on the other side more quickly. Okay. This is going straight to the tree. Is this a is nether it's netherrack. I guess so. Kinda want the fortune pick here just to not have to use a ton of bone meal to fix all this. Let's so run through here, press the button. You're good to go. Very good. Slick touch pick. Yeah, it does have the does have the problem with you can't open it again quickly. Probably a way to fix that. Let's kind of take this level here. Ow. So going straight towards the tree. That's not ideal. We could also just kind of have it be right here, basically. the fence at this level though. That's a little weird. Let's put grass here. Grass, grass, grass. And then a lot of this is actually going to need to be replaced. So they're going to want this whole tunnel here to be stone brick. Getting the basic idea here of where it needs to be stone brick. Basically, all around the size of the tunnel. So, it's not going to take a huge amount of. extra dirt on top, but it's going to be a little bit. I do want to kind of conceal this here too. A little bit. I mean, it's behind the tree, so it's already a little concealed. To move this up a bit. I basically, just need to add grass over top of this. It'll look fairly normal. Tree there, though. That's okay. Yeah, this is this is doable. This is functional. Now it's a taller wall here. Does that work? Back underground.
we can have the blocks here. Still be dirt. And the actual stone bricks that we want to piston out are going to be right in there. So is that completely flush with the side here? We can even have it be dirt. We can even just have it be dirt. Good idea. Be even less noticeable. Yeah, just like that. So it's just a mystery button back over here. going to dig out the area where all the shenanigans are going to be happening. And we can, we can replace this with dirt grass here too. It's fine. It's going to be one block thick for a lot of this. That's okay. And the I guess the, I want to replace this dirt. It's in a corner. It has to be in a corner, okay. If it's in a corner, we can get away with this. So that means the button needs to be here. And the dirt is here. And the pistons are here. Let's get some light in here. Got the pistons. Make some space. Looks like we're gonna have a bit of a situation here where it's on the other side to start. But you can move you can move it around, it's not a huge deal. Redstone torch here. Repeater into here to change this. A lot of this doesn't need to be repeaters. It just is. This is currently extended. That's perfect. Hmm. This way. Because yeah, we want the wall to actually... If we put it there, it would go through to this block, and that's in the hallway, so that's no good. We rotate this. That'd probably be better for us. Inverter. That's a regular torch. That's not gonna do anything. Regular torches. They have no redstone capabilities. Turns out. I need to get. Pistons go in the correct direction. So get in here a little bit. Dirt. Grass even, probably. That'll sort, that'll sort itself out. We go through here. We got the 
Regular pistons. This goes to the other piston. Not up there. Which pushes the rest of the block. Into this, just goes into here. It's a little close. We need space for it to split off from itself again. Here's some andesite. We get all that for my road project. I mean, not all of that. At least a bit, though. And regular torches. I don't know how big of a pocket of andesite would be. Big enough, I guess. I think the problem is we're doing a lot of our mining way, way below in like the deep slate. So there's not actually any andesite down there. This is a good find. Let's move this over this way. We even just place it so the piston's heading this way to start. Redstone, torch in the way. Chunk loading over there, my goodness. So that's going to open it. need the waiting time back around here to close it again. Let's see if we can avoid that last piston movement. Yes, because the redstone block is still activated that entire time. We need to push it earlier. Mm. Troubleshooting, I suppose. It's a start, at least. Yeah, let's make it the same delay, just to be consistent. So it was six repeaters. Perfect. Back down the tunnel. And we can also spruce up this tunnel a bit. But it's really just for getting over here, so it's, it's fine. So there we get... Let's not have any opportunities for anything to spawn in here. So, no grass. For starters. Don't really need that right now. Not that we have any things I would really care about there being stuff in here. But just generally. Don't want anything spawning inside your redstone. Right, so. Comes off here. Maybe some just general redstone. Need the 
piston. Yeah. We can do it just. Six repeaters just right like this. That'd be fine. And that moves that. no delay. There we go. So it's two little ticks to open it. And then the same delay for it to move back out. So that's fine. Make sure this light area is all lit up perfectly. Add the other button. It's kind of on the opposite side here. Slightly inconsistent. So from back here, it's to go down, under the floor, then back up on this side, to activate this piston here. Okay. That's slightly awkward. It's kind of attached here, I guess. So, redstone. Oh, that's not going to work. Start with the repeater. Throw the repeater at the right block. Face in the correct direction. It is, it is beautiful in here. Well, wonders never cease. I can't even go that direction. Let's add lights down here. There, I guess. That redstone up to here. Yeah, let's put the dirt open and close and ready to go. Open, close. Let's repair the wall here. Make sure everything's still working fine then. Should be fine. Everything here is lit. Good to go. Everything in here is not lit. It just looks like dirt from this side. And then you're out. Alright. Let's add. A bit of the Nylium back over here. And some roots. And mushrooms.
just for convenience sake, I am going to get rid of the these warp blocks here. But now we can head into the nether. We got the tree here. And we just run straight into our base. Perfect. Functional. Very functional. And now we're actually right over here. And close. Nope, not gonna close. That's that's the access hatch. Yeah, it's right through here. Gonna replace all this with stone bricks in the tunnel. And then we're out here. And everything up top still looks decent. There's a bit of this weird grass bit here, but that's perfectly acceptable. Yeah. So now we can just go through there instead of going through the research area over here, which has three iron doors and then the wooden door. We just got two piston doors instead. We were too quick. Yeah. Might have a think about how to make. We could also just make this diagonal, and diagonals are pretty gross. You can just get stuck on the sides of the blocks. Whole point of this. Too quick. Whole point of this is just to make it really easy to get over here. So. Adding diagonal corners, you just get stuck on the sides constantly. That's no good. We could make it wide, and then there'd be less chance. But also we have the buttons on both sides with the redstone going down that way, so you'd have to go straight for a bit and then go diagonal. Eh, this is good. And here is the creative test world where I made the previous version of this door. It's a lot more complicated because it uses a flat wall instead of just being on a corner. So instead of just being able to push one set of blocks out of the way, it does other things. Pulls it in, pulls it over, and also pulls these pistons over. But then it's not flush inside. We've got a repeater here and pistons here. It does work though. It does work. Just is not quite as pretty. You, you can look into the redstone. And since there's now three separate piston movements in here that need to be reversed when it goes back through. It's a bit of a mess. So here is the it moves the redstone block contraption. And then it goes around and around and around. Gets to the first repeater. Pulling the blocks in. Then it goes to the other two. Pulling the blocks in that way and pulling the pistons out. There is the waiting time over there. It loops all the way back around to here. Yep. It functions. But it's definitely a more complicated thing. Ultimately, I probably would have figured out to make this mess a bit smaller. Well, the fact that it has to move over and around, it starts in the middle, which is also not ideal. So the first thing the resident needs to do is get into the middle of the contraption, and then it needs to slow off both other directions, and then go through the time thing, and then back over to the redstone. It 
It works. It's not great. Ultimately, would really want a different system for powering the middle pistons here. Instead of having a repeater that comes out into the hallway. But... It works. Definitely works. Also, this probably would have been easier on a flat world. But where's the fun in that? This didn't need to exist because we just used the corner. And I am glad for that. No more redstone nonsense. Next time. Goodbye.